this is Nana Quick Window. I am recording from sunny Antigua and Barbuda, and today we are going to be talking about using chorus effects and flanger effects, or flanger effects, in my DAW of choice, which is Reason. So, if you were paying attention during this week's lesson, you'd realize that there isn't a very clear distinction between what a chorus effect and what a flanger effect is. And really, it's the same mechanism that's being used. So we're going to go through a quick demonstration using a, um, a percussion, a very simple uh, percussion uh, sound in Reason. And I hope it teaches you a thing or two. <coughs> All right, so right now I have my sort of my open default mastering suite. There's nothing on it, just a mixer. And I'm going to start by adding a drum machine. So I'll add the uh, re-drum drum computer. And we're just going to put together a very basic, uh, basic pattern here. I will make it 16, 30, 32 steps. up to 32, and let's see if this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so we've got a very basic pattern here. Alright, now I'm just going to add a CF-101 chorus flanger device, and we're going to play around with it a little bit and see how things go. Okay, great. So we're going to start with everything down at zero. Feedback is zero. Delay is zero. We have our rate down to zero. Modulation amount down to zero. And we'll play our, our beat again. And you see there's really, there are no effects. Right? Now, the delay is really the control that, according to reason, gives you the difference between the uh, flanger and the chorus effect. So we're going to start by playing around with the delay and see what happens. Okay, so this is what we would call uh, a flanger effect. And as you increase the delay, then you can actually hear the second Sound, the feedback loop, and it sounds like they're two different instruments. Okay, so that's that is our delay. Now let's look at the uh, the feedback. Now this this actually governs the amount of signal that actually goes back to the input. So when I change this, you can actually see that at high levels of feedback and at low levels of feedback, you're actually hearing a, a tonal quality. <coughs> the flanger effect that they're talking about. Okay, we're gonna go now. Let's uh, let's take the feedback back to zero and look at what happens when we change the rate. Now you actually see that we don't have that much of a difference here with um, with our LFO uh, rate when we change it. But let's look at the modulation amount. Now again, here it sounds like more like a, a flanger effect that you're actually hearing here. So the LFO sync button actually, when you when you activate it, it's the the frequency of the LFO that's synchronized to the song uh, tempo. And that concludes our brief tutorial on chorus and flanger effects. I hope it was helpful. Thanks.